So before we get started programming in JavaScript, we need to do some basic setup first. First, the things we're going to need are a text editor, and I'm going to be using a text editor called Sublime Text. If you don't have a text editor, you can use Notepad on Windows or Text Edit on the Macintosh. In addition to a text editor, we're going to need a web browser to view the output of our code. I'll be using the Google Chrome web browser. Now that we have our tools in place, there are three additional things you're going to need to know before we get started. The first is to understand the script tag. When placing JavaScript code in an HTML document, all JavaScript code gets placed in a script tag. This is what a script tag looks like. The first script tag is called the opening script tag, and the second script tag is called the closing script tag. All JavaScript code that you write inside of an HTML document must go inside these script tags. So I'm going to create an HTML file called lessontemplate.html and then save it with an opening and closing script tag. The version of this file included in the Tutorials Resource folder also happens to include relevant HTML5 header information, which looks like this. If you want more information about the purpose of this code, you might want to check out our Introduction to HTML5 Elements course as this information is beyond the scope of this tutorial. But don't worry, none of this code will have any bearing on your ability to learn JavaScript. It's simply good practice to start with an HTML document with this information. Now throughout the series there are two primary ways in which we will be outputting the results of our JavaScript code. The first is using document.write, which looks like this. The other is using console.log, which looks like this. So first let me give you an example of how to use document.write. So here we have document.write, and if I add a word in quotation characters inside the parentheses and then launch the web browser, this information gets output to the screen. And then there's another way to do something that's similar using console.log. So let me give an example of that. Here we have console.log and a string that says, Welcome to JavaScript. If you launch this in Chrome and then right-click the browser window, you should see an option titled Inspect Element. If you click this and then select the console menu, you should see the result of our code. This section of the Chrome browser is called the Chrome Developer Tools. So now that we have our setup and our preparation complete, we're ready to start programming. By the end of this video, you should understand the purpose of the script tag, as well as be familiar with the basics of document.write and console.log. Hi everyone, Simon here from Simon Says It. Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to subscribe. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, new videos are uploaded to the Simon Says It channel here on YouTube. Just click on the subscribe button right over there. If you're interested in taking your web development or programming skills to the next level, check out some of the multi-hour online courses offered by Simon Says It. Just go below to the About section for more details. We'll see you next week with more videos.